Hello and welcome to the sixth video in the binary series. So you more or less now understand how you can convert a binary fraction into a decimal fraction, but how can we do it the other way around? So let's say I have got a fraction, say four and three quarters. How can I convert that into a binary fraction? Again, let's call up on the place value table. So the radix point is here, 1, 2, 4, 8, and on this side half, a quarter, and an eight. Now what happens in here? When it comes to the whole part, the 4, I know that I can build that up from using 1, 4 and nothing else, so I will need the place value holders. And then the radix point. Now 3 quarters. Well, the obvious thinking would be, oh, let's just put a 3 in here. Don't forget that we are in the binary, so we can only use 1s and zeros, so we can't use a 3. But there are quarters, so what happens if I take out one of those quarters? So if I've got 3 quarters and I take away a quarter from it, I am going to left with 2 quarters. But hold on, 2 quarters is exactly the same as a half. Well, that solves my problem because then I can just put a digit here. So you might have spotted this by knowing that a half and a quarter makes up three quarters. But this means that four and three quarters in decimal is the same as one zero zero radix point one one in binary. Let's look at another example. Three and five eight. Place values again. One, two, four, radix point, half, a quarter, and an eight. Now three is two plus one, so I'm going to use two of these place values, radix point here. But when it comes to five eight, again I'm going to be in a little bit of a trouble to find out what combination is going on in here. And therefore, you need to have quite a good understanding of manipulating fractions, adding and subtracting them. So if you're not sure, please do recap these. So don't forget that there are loads of very good online resources that you can recap on how to add and subtract fractions. So let's see what happens with the 5 eights. Now, I can use up one of the eights, but I can use up only one of them. So what happens if I take an eight away from the four, five eights? So I've got four eights left. Now that's handy, because remember, any fraction that has got twice as much as the, at the bottom as at the top always cancels down to a half. So the remainder here is just a half. That means I need a placeholder zero here. So three and five eights, in decimal is the same as one one radix point one zero one in binary. Let's look at a slightly different decimal equivalent. So six point two five in decimal, what does it look like in binary? Now for this particular format, it's good to know the fraction and decimal fraction equivalents. So again, the whole part of the table will be 1, 2, 4, 8, etc. radix point. And then we would have half, a quarter, and an 8 here. Now, this part of the table is the same, but beyond the radix point, because I have got the decimal fractions now, I would need to look at the decimal fractions here. So a half is 0 0.5. A quarter is 0 0.25, wow, that tells you something there, and an 8 is 0 0.125. So luckily this is a rather simple fraction to convert into binary fraction because 6 will be the sum of 4 and 2, so I need a placeholder 0 for the 1, radix point, a half I'm not using because all I'm using is 0.25. So 6.25 in decimal is the same as 110 radix point 01 in binary. 
Let's look at a somewhat more complicated example. So 5.3125. In decimal, what is it equal to in binary? So again, write down the place values. So on the left hand side of the radix point, everything is the same as it always has been. And on the right hand side, now I have got 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.125, and then I have got 0 0.0625. So let's see which one of these I need to use to make up my number. 5 is 4 and 1, and on the other side of the radix point. Now, 0 0.5 is too big because the 0 0.3125 is less than 0 0.5, so I'm not going to use this. What happens if I take 0 0.25 out from my decimal fraction part? So if I've got the 0 0.3125 and I need to take away the 0 0.25 from it, what do I left with? So first of all, to carry out this subtraction, I need to fill in the zeros. 5 minus 0 is 5. 2 minus 0 is 2, 1 minus 5 I cannot do, so I need to borrow, 11 minus 5 is 6, 2 minus 2 is 0, point 0 minus 0 is 0. Well, that seems rather lucky, because the 0 0.3125 is just simply the sum of 0 0.25 and 0 0.0625. So that's another place value holder. Therefore, 5.3125 in decimal is equivalent to 101 radix point 0101 in binary. Now, I hope that seeing these examples will give you a good idea about how to go around converting binary fractions to decimal fractions or decimal fractions into binary fractions. Also, you probably have a little bit of an idea about how difficult or how inconvenient converting decimal fractions into binary fractions can be. Now, to further add to these difficulties, what if I would need it to convert such a simple fraction as 3 and 4 over 5? Now, there are no fifths in the binary place value table because these place values are just halves of halves, etc., etc. So there are no fifths in there. So you can sit around there quite a bit of a time to sort of think about what I can do. How can I build up four fifths out of half, halves, quarters, eighths, etc., etc. Another rather simple example that could be also problematic, let's say if I wanted to convert 5.4. Again, 0.4, what combinations of 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.125, etc. would make up the 0.4 bit? This sort of draws your attention to the limitations of the binary fractions. Well, not every single decimal fraction can be expressed as a finite binary fraction. We can always extend the system to use more and more digits to express the fractions, but unfortunately this is an inherent property of the binary system. In the next video I will show you how we can try to come about these problems and see a different method of converting decimal fractions into binary, which can make things slightly easier. But for now I'm going to leave you with some practice questions and you will find the answers to these after the questions. So these are the practice questions. And here are the answers.